In this video, I will explain how the Illuminati destroyed the family unit and they did it with open arms from the sheeple. It all started in 1933 when FDR passed a new deal. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Get the old people to get leave their jobs, give them a paycheck, social security check, so the young people could take their place. Ah, but as the Bible said, the path to hell is paved with good intentions. Right now you're looking at a house in the early 1900s. And if you notice, old homes are distinctly bigger than modern day homes. And the reason that is, is because before the whole family unit lived in one house. Grandpa, grandma, to the grandkids. Well, ever since 1933, and the invention of the social security check, that has all changed. The fabric of society has begun to change. You see, back in the day, there was an unwritten rule that the parents would take care of the kids when they were young, and the young would take care of the kids. I mean, and the parents would get taken care of the kids when they were older. Well, ever since this Ponzi scheme called Social Security was invented, all of that was destroyed. And that was step one in destroying the family unit. Step two was women's rights. You see, for all the liberation of women, the kids have suffered the whole way. For every woman that was liberated, a kid had to go through daycare. A kid had to be indoctrinated by the state at an early age. Where before, the housewife, whose main job was to raise the kids, instill morals, instill values in the kids. Now, those same women, through a few generations, have been turned into sluts and whores that keep their legs open like 7-Eleven because they don't know any better. They've been brainwashed through the media that this is what is acceptable. So while the women's rights movement did have some merit, equal pay for equal work, what it turned into was a CIA sponsored attack on the family. No longer would the women raise the kids. Now the women were in the workforce. And since now there are twice as many people in the workforce, that means it was diluted. For every man who had a job to support his family in the 60s, 70s, now you need two incomes, not just because of inflation, but because there was twice as many workers, supply and demand. The kids have turned into spoiled little brats since the daycare has been raising them and the women have been at work. But that was just step two. Step three, was gay rights. And while homosexuals have been around for centuries, because of social pressures, homosexuals used to have kids and used to contribute to the gene pool. Now with gay rights, uh -uh -uh. you don't need to have kids anymore. Which is brought to open borders. How you ask? were very simple. In Western culture, 
we have 1.6 kids per family now in America. 1.3 in liberalized liberal Europe. You need 2.1 kids per family to sustain a generation. They can't do it with gay rights. Gays don't have kids. It was before they used to. And I'm not even going to mention all the suicides, STDs, and mental illness. To go with this. Yet it is very clear this is one of the Illuminati's agendas to destroy the family unit. You see, because if a family doesn't have to have kids, well, why not just get the kids out the equation? And we'll get to that. Next step in destroying the family is still around the corner. And yes, it's pedophilia. Legalized pedophilia. They'll bring the argument to you in about 10 years that if gays were born this way, so are pedophiles. And then they'll lower the age of consent from 16 to 14 to 12 every 10 years. It'll be generational. They'll be putting out toad and some water and heating it up. The toad will never notice it. And that's exactly how this agenda works. You see, because if they can totally break the family down and corrupt the moral fabric of society, then one day the powers to be will come to you and they will tell you the family unit has failed as a whole and it is in the interests of the children that the state raise them at birth. This is what it all leads to. This is what the New World Order agenda will lead to. A one world government with no family unit. Because let me tell you something folks, you can't depend on the family you got one left, one place left to turn, and that is the state. This is their agenda. A diabolical agenda. But some will say it's satanic. Well, we'll let that up to history to decide. And as I always tell you, remember one thing. The strong take from the weak. But the smart, they 